Hello, welcome to another QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. I am Doug, and today we're going to go over how to do journal entries in QuickBooks. Um, Accounting 101 tells you that every transaction has to have equal debits and credits to balance, um, and QuickBooks does this usually in the background. You don't even realize it's happening. For example, if you're entering a bill, uh, when you enter that bill, you're crediting your accounts payable, and you're usually debiting an expense account. If you're writing a check, you're crediting your cash account, and you're usually debiting either um, accounts payable or some expense as well. All of this is happening in the background without you realizing it, um, whether you're doing invoicing, billing, any of those transactions. But sometimes we need to book something that can't be booked through one of those transactions. For example, uh, depreciation. At the end of the year, when you need to book depreciation, you need to debit your depreciation expense account and then you need to credit the accumulated depreciation account to reduce the value of that asset. But you can't do that through any of those other transactions. The only way to do that is through a journal entry. So that's what we're going to do today. If you go up to the company menu, you go down to make general journal entries, it's going to bring up this screen. Um, you choose the date that you want. The entry number is automatically going to be assigned by QuickBooks, but you can override it if you prefer to. Um, then each line here is going to be for a separate general ledger account. So what you're going to do is pick the first general ledger account. You're going to say how much the debit or credit is. The memo here is for internal purposes. Make your own notes. Um, the name here is for job costing. If you want to assign this to a, a customer or a job, you can. And then you can make it billable or not. And if you use class tracking, you can assign the class here as well. And you can do this for each line. So the first line we're going to do here is depreciation expense. So you see it's depreciation expense, and we're going to do it for $500 for the year, and we're going to make a note that it's truck depreciation 2013. We're not going to worry about job costing or class tracking. And the other side of that is going to be the accumulated depreciation account, which is a fixed asset account. And there you go. So now we look at our debit column and it totals 500 and our credit column totals 500 as well. If these did not total for some reason, QuickBooks would not let you save the transaction. They have to total. You can put as many entries in here as you want, but they must total at the end and match. So we've got a debit for our depreciation expense account and we've got a credit for our accumulated depreciation account that reduces the value of that asset. Um, if you want to make copies of it, you can make copies of your transaction here, your journal entry. Um, to do it over and over again if you need to. You can memorize it so that it will automatically book a transaction every month, say if you're doing your depreciation monthly. You can do it that way. But when we're done, we just hit save and close. It gives you a little item here about the fixed asset list if you want to use that. Like that, and we're done. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Have a good one.